Welcome back to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Cosmos, the beginner's guide to astronomy. Today we're looking at the largest man-made structure in space, the International Space Station or the ISS. Work began on the ISS way back in 1998 and over 20 countries have been involved in the construction of the station. Around 200 astronauts have visited as well to do experiments, but surprisingly, no British astronauts have been there yet. But that's about to change. Tim Peake was one of 8,000 people who applied to become Britain's first astronaut on the space station. And he'll be visiting the station very shortly, um, scheduled to be launched in December. He'll be undertaking a whole series of experiments that cannot be done here on Earth. He'll also be trying to uh, encourage younger people to get involved in space studies, to get involved in science, producing a new generation of scientists for the future. Now, the ISS is often in the news, um, but people may not be aware of the fact it's not the first space station. That honor goes to the Russians, the Russian Salut mission, which was launched in the 1970s. Um, people like looking for the space station, and there are many, many websites that will give you information of when you can see that bright white dot traveling across the sky. The space station is actually orbiting about 250 miles above the ground, and it's traveling at about 17 and a half thousand miles per hour. So if you want to have a look at the space station, just keep your eye on those various websites. That's it for the ISS. If you have any questions on astronomy, please use the comment section. That's it for now. We'll see you next time on the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Cosmos. Bye-bye.